AJ and his, his associate come out, and this was like a total time-wasting segment. AJ goes on and on about how he wants to be the captain of the team. I'm so fucking sick of hearing this. There has never, ever been any benefit to being the captain of the Survivor Series team. If they did a storyline where if you're the captain of the team and your team wins at Survivor Series, you get a title shot, great. Yeah, but it's cool. never meant anything to be the captain of the team and it's all everybody is crying about on the show. AJ well, wants to be the it's, champion. It's it's a way it's a way to get in their minds. It's a way to get heels over as being arrogant because they think that they're better than the other members of the team. But as they, viewers, we don't care. It doesn't I, mean anything to be the champion. At least make some captain. sort of stip. Agreed. Agreed. Well, it's just the the idea of trying to, you know, like they did it with uh, Natalia on the. Uh, on SmackDown this week. And that and... sucked as well because well, there's yeah, no because reason it... for anybody to need to be the captain. Because what is the... I know. What's the idea of the captain? I know. Yeah. It's so just, uh... then Keith Lee and Sheamus on his team come out and they're bitching about the captain role. I'm like, dude, can we move on to something else, please? So then Strowman comes out. He wants to be on the team. Keith Lee says you need to qualify. Strowman says I beat you clean a couple of weeks ago. Adam Pierce comes out, says, I'd love you to be on the team, Braun, but I'm having a hard time finding anybody who to wrestle you. Now Keith Lee's upset. He goes, first off, this guy didn't beat me clean. Sheamus then jumps in and says, listen, I've been here longer. I want this Braun Strowman. And so finally AJ says, how about we do a triple threat? If Braun Strowman wins, he's on the team. Adam Pierce likes this idea. This seemingly went 30 minutes. I know it didn't, but it felt like it. So then they had a match. It's Lee Strowman and Sheamus. And I could not really call this, like, a good match, but it was a fun match, and it was an exciting match because it was three giant dudes, and it was wild. Keith Lee tried this flip dive, almost killed himself. He barely made it over the ropes. He hit his head on the the apron and wiped everybody out. They did the big dive. Strowman did, like, a flying high cross and put him through the dasher boards. They come back from commercial, and somehow we've gone from going through the dashboards to Sheamus having Keith Lee in a hole. I don't know what the hell happened there. But they hit the giant stacked up superplex. Strowman tries a low blow. Lee catches it. And finally, Sheamus boots Keith Lee. Strowman grabs Sheamus, power slams him, gets the pin. Braun Strowman is on the Survivor Series team. And then, if this segment was not long enough, AJ talks Keith Lee and Strowman in shaking hands. He tries to get Seamus and Strowman to shake. Seamus doesn't want to. But then Seamus hugs him. Then Seamus bro kicks him. Keith Lee takes out Seamus. AJ takes out Keith Lee. And then AJ's upset that he took out Keith Lee because now his team is falling apart. Everybody got that? I got it. a long-ass segment. I got it. Yep, well. Highs and lows. Strowman's in the match. And Strowman brought up... Remember that Survivor Series where they put Strowman over everybody, beat John Cena clean and everything? And he kind of brought that up without them anyone bringing that up. It's like he said... He's, he made some comment about how... Uh, was it? I've won Survivor Series or I've eliminated more big stars in Survivor Series than anyone. And it's like, that was begging. Like It's like he says it and it's like it's true, but it was years ago... And I don't know that like every single fan remembers that specific match where they put him over years and years ago, um, over everybody. I remember it was like, oh God, they're just having him kill everyone. Um, which whatever. I mean, if you remember it and all that, but the announcers really should have brought that when he, when he said that, the announcers at some point, you know, during the match, they or probably all forgot. Then why bring it up if everyone forgot? You gotta, you gotta explain this, or else it doesn't mean anything. Or, or you're talking to, you're talking to the people who have like those, those like computer memories of every single Survivor Series. And, oh yeah, he's talking about Survivor Series. How many years ago? And well, blah, Dave, blah, blah, blah. I think when the script gets handed in at seven forty-five, it's probably hard to get every single person there on the same page. That's what the freaking meeting in the afternoon is all about, and the announcers are supposed to be. Well, at the dude, meeting. the script wasn't even done till after the meeting was over. Well. Yeah, I don't know. I, the announcer should have instinct, too, though. It's like you you are announcing. He did say it. Explain what he said, because that was one of those things where, you know, I don't know what percentage, but the percentage, 
anyone who's a new viewer, I know there's no such thing as new viewers, but you have to pretend, um, you know, wouldn't know. And even existing viewers, you know, many of them just wouldn't know. But it's it's a major point that this guy, this guy would be great to have on our team because in that Survivor Series, he just he's just a monster in Survivor Series. And those announcers should be, you know, what a great what a great addition he'll be to this team. And this is the reason because he already brought it up anyway. And they just I don't know. Um I just keep thinking, like, if uh, what would an announcer do that's, like, actually paying attention? That's exactly what they would bring up. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.